Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be covering one of the five mother sauces, a velouté sauce. This is a sauce that I use quite often. I use it a lot for um, chicken dishes, but it is quite variable. You can use it for several. Um, it can be used for seafood or chicken. Lots of different options that you can go with this. You can season it many different ways. Or you can keep it just in a simple, purest form. It's just a roux and some chicken stock. It's really simple, really helps elevate a dish, enhance it. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I have some chicken cutlets here. Now I just went ahead and pounded these out. I butterflied my chicken breasts, um, which is something I always do. We don't ever eat on entire chicken breasts, but I butterflied them and then I've just pounded them out slightly um, just to kind of help. It'll be like a thinner, it's gonna cook up quicker in the pan. So those are my cutlets. And we're going to get to those in just a second. But first we're gonna make um, a little bit of a marinade for our, um, for our cutlets. So I have some buttermilk here. I'm gonna go ahead and just toss that in my bag. I'm just gonna marinate it right in here. Save myself a few dishes later. I'm gonna add maybe, I don't know, maybe about a cup and a half of buttermilk. I'm also gonna add a little bit of hot sauce. Just kinda helps give a little bit of heat in the background. Nothing too spicy or anything. Just probably about a quarter of a cup. And then I'm gonna add some fresh thyme, and I'm just gonna toss that in there whole. A little bit of salt. I'm gonna do about a four finger pinch of salt. And some fresh cracked black pepper. Now it's important that we do our brine, um, or our marinade rather, in the bag before we put the chicken in it, just so that way we don't have to worry about any cross contamination. I know that my bag is clean, I haven't been touched by any of the chicken, so we are good to go. So I'm just going to um, give this a quick little shake. Now we have a nice um, marinade going for our chicken. Now I went ahead and the chicken comes in a three pack and um, got this at the grocery store. These are just organic chicken breasts. Um, I went ahead and divided all of them, went ahead and butterfly all of them rather, and pounded them out. It's just my husband and I for dinner tonight, so we certainly aren't gonna eat three chicken breasts and six cutlets between us, so I'm just gonna put about three of them in here. I have a few that were a little small, um, so I'm gonna do two regular sizes and then a little one. And then the rest I'm just gonna put in my freezer, label it as chicken cutlets, and I'll just have it ready to go. I won't have to worry about prepping my meat later. Saves me a lot of time, keeps my hands clean, don't have to worry about it um, whenever I come home from work at a future date. So. Just a quick little tip, you can go ahead and just prepare your meat whenever you get it um, from the grocery store and then stick it in the freezer rather than freezing the entire pack, having to wait for it to, wait for it to defrost and then um, butterfly it then. I just find it easier, so that's why I have so much out on the plate, but just for Justin and I, we don't need this much. So I'm going to do two of them in there and then a little one. Probably be a sample that you can taste. I'm just going to mix that around, make sure it's good and covered. And I'm gonna let this hang out for about 30 minutes. I am gonna stick it in the refrigerator. Usually um, for a steak or something, I might let it um, go ahead and marinate at room temperature or come up to room temp for about an hour. But the chicken, we don't want to mess with any kind of food poisoning or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and just put this back in the ref refrigerator, keep it cold, and in about 30 minutes, we'll go ahead and work on dredging it getting it in the pan, and then making our velouté sauce. That's gonna be great, and I'll see you back in a few. Hey guys, welcome back. I have got my chicken. I have been letting it marinate in my buttermilk, my hot sauce. I've got some thyme, salt, and pepper in here. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my dredge. I'm just gonna take it right out of my liquid and put it right into some flour. So I'm going to start with about a cup of flour. I'm gonna put it out here on a plate or a shallow dish. Um, I'm gonna make a well in the middle for my herbs. I'm gonna add some oregano, about a teaspoon of oregano. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons of garlic. And then I am also gonna add in some cumin do about a teaspoon or so of that. And then I'm gonna add a quarter
pour some salt and pepper. Do about a three finger pinch of salt. A couple of cracks of fresh ground black pepper. I've got a fork and I'm just going to kind of whisk that all together and get it incorporated. Mix it all into my flour. And we are set to go. I've got my pan preheating here. I'm going to show you a little trick to tell whenever your pan is preheated. I am using nonstick. If you're using, I'm using a stainless skillet. If you're using nonstick, you don't have to worry about it. Just bring it up to temp, melt down your oil. You don't have to worry. But there's a temperature that you can get your pan to with a um, with a stainless pan, so that way you don't have to worry about the food sticking. This has really helped me a lot. Um, so what I do is I just drop a little bit of some water in the pan. Now this I just started preheating, so it's probably not going to be ready yet, but that's perfect. You can see what it shouldn't look like. Um, actually, that looks pretty good. I'm going to turn this down a bit. Um, I've got like a little ball of water that just kind of skins, um, skates across the surface. And that tells me that my pan is at a proper temperature. If it weren't there yet, it would just kind of sizzle in there a little bit, bubble, steam away. If it were too hot, it would immediately hit the pan and scatter into a bunch of um, smaller balls across the surface. So this is perfect. I know that I'm good to go. I'm going to go ahead and just turn that down for a second. I'm going to um, get my chicken ready to go. I'm going to grab a little bit of some oil. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my pan since it is preheated. Just swirl that around. I'm going to let that kind of heat up a little bit. And I'm going to take my chicken, go ahead and get here into my um, seasoning, my spice mixture here. I'm going to make sure that it's good and coated. And then I've got a nice coating on there. I'm going to go ahead and just put it in my pan. I've got a nice sizzle when it hits the surface. That's exactly what I want to hear. bunch of time on that one. And you can work in batches on these. Um, I think I'll be able to get all three of mine in the pan. I have two um, regular size cutlets and then a small one. Just a little baby one there. And I should be able to get that all in the pan. So I'm going to go ahead let these cook for just a second on this side. I'm going to get rid of my brine and my spice mixture, give my hands a wash since I've been touching the raw chicken, and uh, when we come back, I'll uh, get clean tongs and we'll go ahead and give that a flip. All right, guys, so these have been browning up for a few minutes. I'm ready to flip them. I'm going to go ahead and just get underneath it with my tongs and get it flipped. And then we have our little one here. Go ahead and flip that. We've got a nice golden color on there. Our breading is crisping up really nicely. Going to go ahead and let these continue to cook on the other side until they're done. We'll move them to a plate and let them rest. And then when we're done we'll, with that, while they're resting, we'll make our velouté sauce and then it is time to eat. So I'll see you guys back in a few seconds. Alright guys, so I just took my chicken off the pan. It is done on both sides. has a nice good crust. Our breading has browned up nicely. I'm going to go ahead and let it rest. I'm going to cover it just loosely with some foil. And I'm also going to just um, vent it so that way the steam can escape and it doesn't get soggy. So just kind of loosely cover that. Make sure that you have some space for the steam to escape. We're going to set that, in the, set that to the side. And in the meantime, I'm going to start on my velouté sauce. So velouté sauce is one of the five mother sauces. It is thickened with a roux. Um, we're going to use butter and flour, and then it's going to, um, the liquid for the base of the sauce is going to be some chicken broth. I've made some homemade chicken broth here. This I just pulled out of the freezer. It's from the batch that I made a few days ago, and I have a video about that showing how to make your own chicken broth. You can use store bought. I love homemade. You'll hear me say that a lot, but I really, really love homemade chicken stock. 
um, or broth. It really has a great flavor. I just don't think that store-bought can even come close to that. So that's just my professional opinion. You can do whatever you'd like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I've got my pan at about a medium to a medium high. I'm going to go ahead and add in got, um, two tablespoons of butter that I'm going to add in. I'm just going to let that melt down. I'm going to grab a whisk. And um, I don't want this to brown the butter as it's melting because I really want to make a blonde roux. A velouté sauce um, has a classic color to it and it's uh, really a velvety kind of sauce. So I don't want this to get too brown or anything. I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat down just to make sure that it doesn't brown. Um, and as soon as that butter gets melted down, we're going to add in the flour. Now the flour can be a bit starchy when you're making a roux, so you just want to make sure that you let it cook for a few moments. Um, about two tablespoons of flour. Go ahead and get that added in and whisk it around. I'm just going to let it cook for a few seconds. Alright, so I've got my flour and my butter in here. It is melting down um, and kind of getting rid of that starchy flavor from the flour. I'm going to start slowly incorporating my chicken stock because I don't want to add it all at once. The chicken stock is cold, my roux is hot. If I add it all together, it's going to seize and get kind of lumpy. That is not what we want. We want a nice velvety texture to our, um, to our velouté. So I'm going to go ahead and just slowly add some in. And then go ahead and give that a whisk. Now, in the beginning stages, the sauce is going to be pretty thick, but just keep adding in your um, your liquid, and it'll thin out really nicely. And I'll show you what the consistency should look like once we get there. You want to see something that's going to quickly disappear. It's going to be a little bit of a thin sauce. It's going to quickly disappear into um, itself whenever you drizzle it. And as we whisk, once it starts getting incorporated, um, I just want to make sure that I start seeing it bubble on the sides before I add more stock to it. Just so that way I know that it's completely thickened. I had about a cup of chicken stock here. I might need a little more. I have some more in the fridge, so we'll see how this goes, but I might need to add a little bit more to that um, just to make sure I have the right consistency for this. You can do quite a bit of things with a velouté sauce. It's really easy to vary. Today we're just making a classic velouté, just a roux. All you need is some butter, some flour, and some chicken broth or stock. For a chicken dish, if I were doing seafood, I might use some fish stock or whatever um, usually the recipe kind of dictates the kind of stock or broth that you'll be using, but um, that's entirely up to you and what you're making. But it's pretty simple. If you want to add any variation to it, you could, um, whenever you have the butter melting down, you could saute some shallots and some garlic. If you wanted, you could add in some ginger for maybe an Asian kind of inspired sauce. Or if you wanted at the end, you can add some fresh herbs. So it's really just entirely up to you and up to the recipe and what you're making. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a few more seconds. It's coming along quite nicely. I might get a little bit more chicken stock and I'll see you back in just a second. Alright guys, so I've added about a cup and a quarter of chicken stock into my roux. And I'm going to go ahead and season it with just a little pinch of salt. About two fingers worth of salt. I'm going to add some fresh cracked black pepper. I'm also going to add a little bit of some fresh thyme. And give that a stir. You can kind of see that it's getting some thickness to it. Whenever I run my spoon through it, it doesn't, um, it comes back together nicely. That's exactly what we want to see. This is a great consistency. I'm just going to finish the sauce off with a couple of knobs of cold butter. It's just going to help give it a silky finish. Nothing um, too fancy or anything that we're going to do to vary the velouté. I added in the thyme and we're just going to add in some of that butter. It's just going to help um, 
give it a little bit more body and some silkiness. It's going to be really beautiful over our chicken here. So you just want to make sure after each um, addition of butter that it's completely melted. I'm just going to add in two. Go ahead and add in a second one. That one's looking pretty good. Just going to let this melt down. And the velouté sauce, when you're storing it, if you're making it ahead of time for a dish, which you can do, um, you don't want to enhance it at all because some ingredients can make it seize if you added cream or anything to it. It can seize whenever it comes back together. Also, you want to make sure whenever you um, whenever you are storing it, it's going to get really thick in the refrigerator. It's going to thicken up where you could like scoop it out like pudding. Um, so just make sure you reheat it before you serve. So this is perfect. We are ready to go ahead and just spoon some of this over our chicken here. I'm just gonna do a nice helping over. It's just gonna add some good flavor, add some moisture to our chicken. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm just gonna grab a fork and a knife, and give it a try, have a little snack before we get uh, the rest of dinner done. Have a nice crispy breading there. We have this delicious juicy sauce. That velouté is just gonna add a lot of flavor to it. This is not your everyday bland chicken at a restaurant. This is fantastic, guys. Crispy breading, great sauce. It's a quick, easy meal to throw together. Your company is going to be so impressed that you made this. It's fantastic.